All right, a lovely Saturday. It is on this vet uh, advice by you know YouTube is a girl right now. It's buzzing. It's been very very interesting week. It's been nice. It's been fantastic. It's been wonderful. The white selectors have always won something. So uh, my advice to you is be a white selector. Don't put up uh, 20 games. I've always said that uh, your chances of winning with five games is higher than your chances of winning with 50 games, 20 games, or 30 games. So be wise when you make your selections. And uh, like I also always say to you, it is better to do betting with an online betting account than to do betting with uh, the, the, the shops. I'm not stopping you from going to the shop, but what I'm saying is, with what I propose, with what I propose, uh, uh, a systemic betting, you will make more profit, you make more inroad and more advanced with an online account. What do I mean by that is, uh, when you open an account, for instance, run it like you're running a company. Run it like you want to end your salary at the end of the month. And like I always say to people, if you save 3,000 naira every day, for 365 days it is 1,080,000 naira. So if you, you can multiply it. Now, there are games, if you load up 10,000 naira in your, in your bet account, there are games that can make you save 3,000 naira every day. There is football match going on somewhere. Not just the ones that I tell you. Save enough to be able to save 3,000 naira every day. Yeah, for some people they are too big, 1 million naira is no big deal. Then, Play enough games that will make you save 30,000 naira a day. That's about, uh, uh, let's say, 10 million naira per in the end of the in the end of the year. If that's not good, save enough. Play enough games that will make you save 300,000 naira per day. It depends on you and the odds that are available. But I'm just being modest with with that numbers. But having said that, let's go straight to the games because there are quite a lot of games today, and I don't want to bore you with all this advice because I keep saying it every day. It's worked. It's worked for a lot of people. It's worked for me too. So I think it can work for you. I don't, I hardly say the things that I don't practice, so I need you to know that. So let's go to the games, uh, the one that will come up pretty early today, uh, Saturday. Uh, Chelsea playing against Leicester City. Uh, that game, I think Chelsea will win at home. Yeah, Chelsea has not been in the best form of their life. Leicester seems like they've revived themselves, they're back, having tested the, 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 the Champions League, but I think Chelsea will win this one. Something just told me that Chelsea are on the bench. They'll get something out of this. Swansea just got a new coach. They, they've been struggling set up. Asna are also coming from international break. When teams come from international break, it's very, very difficult to predict them. But I think Asna will win this one as well. But the Chelsea game that I said earlier on, I think both teams will score in that game. So you've got to look out for that one. Uh, West Bromwich Albion playing against Tottenham Hotspur. That's going to be very, very close. But the form of Tottenham Hotspur and the fact that they've not considered any goal from open play, only a uh, free kick or uh, 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 corner kick, it makes it look like uh, Tottenham Hotspur might get something out of this. And they sniff in the top position. They think uh, they can get something. At least if they win this game, uh, they'll keep themselves close to Man City, knowing that Man City is playing against uh, Everton, and anything is possible in that game. Everton might get a draw. If uh, Tottenham Hotspur wins this game, it means they go on top. They want to enjoy that moment. So it's a double chance for Tottenham to win or draw. But I think uh, they just might win this game. But let's not forget they are coming from international break as well. One more play against Hull City, and this is a game of two equals. The best thing you can bet here is either side to win, both teams to score. Man City playing against Everton, both teams to score in this game. Man City will start uh, Kevin De Bruyne. It's not as fantastic as they were within and the squad. Would they change this one? And Aguero is also not available here. Kalisha Nashor just coming back from the Nigerian national team where he went to Ndola with Zambia and scored for Nigeria. Would he be the one to build the cards? Yeah, to build the cards here. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. But I think uh, the best bet is both teams to score either side to win. There's not going to be a draw in this game as well. But I will go with a Man City win. Yes, their form at home and uh, their form under Pep Guardiola still tells me they deserve to ride on the back of me, counting them in. I can count them out right now. Stokes City playing against Sunderland now. This is the game. For sure, both teams will score. This game is not going to end goalless. Either side will win. It's also not going to end in a draw. Crystal Palace playing against West Ham. West Ham, the last time they played, they had a draw at home. Uh, can they get something from Crystal Palace? I don't think so. I think this game, Crystal Palace will take it. It's a double chance for Crystal Palace. But let's move it into the championship and see what's going to happen. Not too many games to interest me here, but one of the games that I want to pick up is the game between Newcastle United and Brentford. I think Newcastle United will win that game. The game between Wolverhampton Wanderers and Aston Villa, both teams will score. I think that Wolverhampton Wanderers may, just may, they may win that one as well. I, I said may, remember, I did say they would win it. 
say me. Now let's go to Germany in the German Bundesliga. There's a game between Borussia Mönchengladbach and the uh, Hamburg SV. Borussia Mönchengladbach to win this one straight win. Uh, the game between Werder Bremen and Bayer Leverkusen. I'm pitching my tent with uh, Bayer Leverkusen. The game between Eintracht Frankfurt and Bayern Munich. Uh, would they get something out of this? Last time they were the, uh, the, the, the best sleep destroyer as they drew 1-1 in a game that everybody expected them to win. I think that Bayern Munich will win this one. They can't afford to go two straight games without a win. I think they will win that one. Augsburg playing against Shaka 4 I think Shaka 4 and Augsburg. Shaka 4 looked like a team that won this one, but both teams will score. That's guaranteed. Either side will win. That game is not going to end in a draw. Now let's leave uh, the German Bundesliga and come straight to the Premier Division. It's the La Liga. Uh, let's see what's up in the German in, in the La Liga in Spain. Uh, CD Leganes are playing against uh, Sevilla. Uh, both teams will score in this game for sure. If you want to pick, you say either side to win. It's not going to end in a draw. Barcelona are playing at home against the Portimao La Coruña. The last time Barcelona were just out of their pace, they were cut off, they were not there. But I don't think that the coach, yeah, I'm talking about uh, Luis Enrique, will make the mistake of dropping players on the bench that should be playing on the field. So it's going to play a full strength squad, but those players that are coming from South America will be a little bit tired. It might affect them and uh, Suarez and Neymar, but I think they will have enough in their arsenal to win this game. So I'm going with Barcelona to win. Atletico Madrid, Granada, they have a chance to pile up a few points on them. Atletico Madrid would win this one as well. Real Madrid playing against Sevilla. This game is going to be tough for Real Madrid, but they just might struggle, puff and puff, and win this game as well. So it's Real Madrid to win. Uh, well, let's leave Spain and go straight to Italian Serie A. There are a few games there in Italy. Napoli playing against Roma. This game is going to be close, but I think Napoli would win. Uh, the game between Juventus and Udinese. Uh, Juventus would win as well. Yes, those are the games for you in Italy. In France, uh, Nancy playing against Paris saint -Germain. Paris saint was starting to find their form before the international break. But can they continue? Yes, I think so. They will continue. The game between uh, uh, Lille and Gugan. Uh, Lille are not in the, the most fantastic form. They are very, very low on the table. Can they get something out of this? I don't think so. It's a double chance on Gugan in this game. Basta playing against uh, CSO Agas. Anybody can win this game. But uh, you can pick either side to win, but both sides will score in this game as well. Let's move away from France and go to the Netherlands. Uh, quite a few games available in the Netherlands. Izzy Akma is also destroyed a full ticket this season twice. Yes, this season I think they will win at home anyway. PSV Eindhoven playing against Ayakles uh, Amelo. Uh, PSV Eindhoven would win this game as well. Yes, the game between FC Utrecht playing against Go Ahead Eagles. Use FC Utrecht would win this game as well. FC Groningen playing against SC Ereven, this is a game that both sides would score, either side would win. Yes, uh, let's go to Portugal and see. In Portugal, you have uh, the game between FC Porto and uh, Gafanha. In the Portuguese, uh, Teca de Portugal, it's a cup game. Yes, uh, FC Porto will win. Sporting Braga are also playing against AD Oliveirense. Uh, Sporting Braga will win that one as well. The game between Boavista FC and Nino de Leira, I think Boavista would win. Now let's go there and go to Belgium and see what's happening in Belgium. In Belgium, yes, KB Cottridge will play against Standard Liège. Who we'll score win this one? Both teams will score. Either side can win. Uh, the game between Aros, Aros Periwells playing against KROC Gang. Either side could win this one, but I'm going to put my smart money on KROC Gang to win that one. In Scotland, the, the, the Premiership in Scotland, Patrick Tissou, they're playing against uh, Amiton Academica. It's a different ball game there. I think uh, this game, either side could win. Heart of Middleton playing against FC Dundee. Uh, I think Heart of Middleton are strong enough to win this one. FC St. Justin playing against Kilmanak FC. FC St. Justin will win. Aberdeen are playing at home against Ross County FC. I think too that Aberdeen will win this game. Celtic are playing against Motherwell. Uh, Celtic, a big skeptic to win that one. Let's move away from Scotland and go to the Turkish League where you have games between Kasimpasa and Gazantaspor. I think Kasimpasa would win that one. Kayaspor are playing against Besiktas. Uh, Besiktas to win this one. Uh, Kayaspor might score, but teams will score in this game, but Besiktas would win. Uh, the game between uh, Gençabiligi and uh, Galatasaray. Both teams will score in that game. Either side could win. It's not going to end in a draw. Let's go to Austria and see what they've got set for us uh, today, Saturday. Wolfsburger AC are playing against RB Salzburg. Yes, RB Salzburg will win that war. Yes, Red Bull Salzburg. Yes, that's RB. Yes, and SK Stormgrass playing against SV Juskoe. Uh, Stormgrass would win this one. 
SK Rapid Vienna playing against uh, Alta. Rapid Vienna would win this one as well. Let's push it further down and see what games we've got uh, in the other leagues like uh, in Norway, in Greece. Uh, Estonia and the rest of them. I think uh, let's look at let's set up for Greece and see. In Greece, Panatic, Panatilikos Agus playing against uh, Cassiope. I think uh, Panatilikos Agus would win this one, but put them on the double chance to be on the safe side. Asteras Tripolis playing against uh, Plantanaras FC. Asteras Tripoli would win as well. We're still pushing for the uh, Panatilikos Antens playing against Olympiakos. Olympiakos have a double chance to win this one so let's uh, stick with them to get something out of this let's get to Norway and see what's up with the Norwegian league and see how it's going over there in Norway Rosenborg BK are playing against Sassborg Sass yes Rosenborg BK are playing away from home they would win this one all of some FK playing against Bodo Glimt this game either side could win both teams will score uh, that's uh, the bet for that one let's move away from that and go to the Russian Premier League where I will draw the curtain on the show today. Ruby Kazan are playing against FC Kerelaya Sevetov Samara. Ruby Kazan would win that one. FC Spartak Moscow are playing against FC Rostov. Both teams will score either side to win. Uh, FC Amkapan playing against Lokomotiv Moscow. Both teams to score either side to win. In Romania, the game between AFC Astra Gugu playing against CS Concordia Shandria. Yes. Astra Grugu, remember them? They knocked out West Ham from the Europa Cup. They would win this game. Yeah, first of all, the games for today, Saturday. Yes, Saturday, a lovely day it is. It is the 15th day of the month of October. Christmas is getting closer with each passing day. I do hope that you win something that will help you to buy a bag of rice, a kind of rent, uh, wheat meal, or whatever it is that will help you have good Christmas but before Christmas comes Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving is next month I hope that everything you win you're saving a little for Thanksgiving you well, have a lovely day my name is E. Daffy S. Yogan and Matthew I'm always your good advisor bye bye <laughs>